What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI or another Dell Precision T5600 and today this video is to uh, show you guys how to upgrade the processor show you, so what you're going to do is remove the side cover panel now what you're going to do is remove the video card first I'm going to zoom in the camera so you're going to move the video card first you don't have to remove if you don't want to but I have to remove the video card so you guys can see the video better Okay, so now and I have a match. Uh, the dual Xeon processors are here, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna up upgrade the match pair. So one here on the left, one on the right. So first, you're gonna do is you're gonna move the see the optical driver here. The little, little little plastic latch right here. You lift this up like this to remove the optical draw optical bay here, caddy here. And now, what you have to do is uh, use a Phillips screwdriver, and you're gonna remove the heat sink first. Start off from the right side here. And there'll be four two screws on the top, two in the bottom. Okay, let me just look at this. Now you can go ahead and down this little four pin for the CPU fan right here. It's got a little clip right here. You press on it to release it. CPU fan header connector right there. Disconnect that and okay. Remove the heatsink fan. Now is uh, I'm gonna remove the one here and the left one here, left side. There'll be two screws in the top, two in the bottom here. And what you do is uh, remove the heatsink fan, and now you're gonna go ahead and disconnect uh, the CPU fan, right? Uh, CPU fan right here. The, they got a four pin four wire right here, and it does have a secure clip. So you gotta take your finger like this, you press on it to release the lock. And I'm gonna put this heatsink fan right here on the left side. Cause slow. Okay, now is you need a paper towel, and you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound. On the processor here because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Okay, now remove the thermal compound. Now, if your thermal thermal compound doesn't come off really well, then what you guys need to do is uh, use a rubbing alcohol. Then you have to buy and go to the grocery store and go to the pharmacy area and buy that rubbing alcohol. 70% or 91% rubbing alcohol, you can get, you use that to remove the old thermal compound from the heat, from the processor and the heat sink. So again, guys, you got to go to, if you go to the grocery store, you go to the pharmacy area and they should have the rubbing alcohol 70% or 91% you can get. So now what I'm gonna do is guys, is I'm gonna upgrade the match pair the processors, both processor match pair. The same one uh, there, I'm gonna be upgrading their match pair processors here, you guys can see. And first I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start off from the right. And there's a little clip right here. You have to lift up the one in the top and one in the bottom here. So I'm gonna go to the other side. I can't get it from this side. Okay, so I'm gonna go and remove the processor. And put this one here. And I'm installing the newer one. Now 
you're gonna clip in first the bottom one here like this now you're gonna do the top one like that and you're done now what I'm gonna do is start off from the left side now the processor is you're gonna start off the clip here in the bottom here and from the top and move the processor you gotta be really careful and so here's the old processor I'm gonna lay it here and here's the newer one Now you clip in from the top first, the clip, now the bottom one be the last one. And you're done. Now, as I'm going to remove the old processors from here, both of them here. And the upgrade, guys, is, is for the, I did a, you have to buy online the match pair Intel Xeons. But if you only have one processor, then that's fine. But if you're going to buy both, then you, you have to buy the match pair. So first you're gonna do is, guys, is I'm gonna install this, uh, put this uh, clear bag over here, and we have to remove the old thermo compound from the heat sink here. So I'm just gonna apply uh, rubbing alcohol and put some on uh, on the paper towel here like this, and. You're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound off. And just use a, just like that, good enough. If your thermal compound doesn't come off really well, then what you have to do is use a, credit card and just go like this just uh, wipe it off with the if your thermal compound doesn't come off really well if it's dry then you just used to use a credit card to wipe it down to, to remove it so i got this one here now to do the right well right one well, right heat sink here remove the old thermal compound on this one this is the right one Now I have to get the, another paper towel here to wipe it down with the uh, rubbing alcohol. Okay. So here's a new paper towel. And as we apply the rubbing alcohol, wipe down the old Toma compound off. So that's good enough. And this is the right side heat sink fan. Okay, so I have to remove this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be applying the thermal compound. So what you guys can do is you don't have to use a, you could just take the thermal compound like this and apply it right in the middle where the process is at. Same with this one right in the middle. And when you install the heat sink fan, it will spread evenly. So again, when you can just apply it right in the middle like this. And this one here too, now this processor right in the middle. And when you install the heat sink, it will spread evenly. But I'm just going to show you the other way. I'm just going to apply it on the, on the heat sink. Like this right in the middle. And you could just take a credit card. Then you're going to spread it evenly. So I have to apply more thermal compound on here. Okay, now so just like that's good enough. You don't want to put too much on it. That's good enough. Now I'm gonna install it. So first you're going to do is you're going to install back the CPU fan right here, the clip, the four pin connector. Make sure you connect that and install the heat sink. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
So you're gonna stall back and Uh, make sure the screws are tight because if they're loose, your heat sink is not gonna be properly. Uh, it's gonna be start overheating. So make sure that you check the screws, each one. They're you cannot turn anymore. They mean they're tight. So make sure they're not loose. Because uh, like if you don't connect the heat sink, all make sure it's connected. Okay, so now okay, it's where the screws are tight. We're done with this side. Now we have to do the left side. Be the less. And so what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take the Toma compound. On this one, I'm just not going to put on the heat sink. I'm just going to put in the processor like this. The other way you can do, and you can just take a credit card like this and just spread it evenly. Make sure you don't put too much thermal compound on the processor. So that's good enough. Now, I just gotta wipe down right here a little bit. Okay, I'm done. Now we're gonna install back the heat sink. And what you have to do is, you see right there, you're gonna install the CPU fan and connector back and before you install the heatsink. So what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna take this right here, install it first before you install the heatsink back. You're gonna connect back the CPU fan header uh, for the fan right here back to the motherboard before you install the heatsink. So install the heatsink. Now we're gonna install back the screws here. Can't see. Okay, I'm gonna go over the other side. And make sure you check, you guys, the the screws, and make sure they're not loose. Checking the bottom and the top, make sure. Okay, their screws are tight now. You're gonna install back the, op the, the, the optical drive here, the caddy here looks like. And this little plastic right here, see it goes like this. And it installs like that, it's just, okay, now we're gonna install back the video card. Put this back in, you're done. So you guys, this is for the Dell Precision T5600. Uh, we upgraded the uh, the match pair dual Xeon processors, and again, guys, this is for the Dell Precision T5600. And I'm gonna put the side cover back on, and we're done. See so, you guys. Uh, this is MXKDI here. Thanks for watching. Bye.